What is going on Adventure Nation? Today we explore the mysterious Jekyll Island. This is the Motorhome Experiment. I, I guess it's not so mysterious What's anymore. It's not mysterious. But it was back then. It's supposed to be one of the most, or it used to be one of the most secluded islands in the entire world, not even US, the entire world. And now it's open to the public. Is that true? Yep. I don't know about secluded in the world. What about an island like way out in the middle of the Pacific? Well, what I mean by secluded, it was hard to get in here. It's like, because unless you were a private member. That is true. That is true. It was, <laughs> it was a privately owned island that was owned by a bunch of multimillionaires, which in today's standard are probably billionaires, out of New York and you could not become a member here. I think what, they, they reserve membership to 100 people, they said? To 100, and you have to know somebody in, uh, in already the club, and they have to nominate you. In, and you get one shot, right? One shot, you were voted. If you were out, you can reapply. Right, you had to have eight votes from current members, and you had one shot. If you didn't get voted in by eight of them within that time, you were out. You never got voted in again, so pretty crazy crazy mm -hmm. stuff exclusive it was and we're going to go out and check it out now yes, let's go yesterday we just went out for a quick tour of the island just to check it out quick we weren't gonna do any filming or anything because we weren't quite ready for it but then this happened yeah we totally weren't prepared for this at all we did not know we were gonna be touring today I got you. come on up should be cool and now today we thought we would go out, grab the bicycles and check it out by bike a little bit and get to know the area a little bit better. And there's no better way to do that in any area that you go into than on a bicycle, other than maybe walking. But a bicycle yeah, works too. This place has so many biking trails, so many, that it's just so easy to bicycle here, like off the traffic. And that's so nice. Yeah, the entire island is surrounded by a bike trail and then the bike trail also cuts into various spots. So it's it's pretty cool. Uh, Lorena, that doesn't look good. Doesn't look promising. Doesn't look promising. And looks like we may get a little wet, but we're gonna jump on the bikes and we're gonna go like troopers. We're gonna look like wet dogs later. We may look like hell later, but we're gonna do this. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. We're actually parked in the parking lot of Tortuga Jacks. It's uh, one of the restaurants here with a, like a Palapa hut and the bugs are at us already. And the Palapa hut right on the ocean. Hopefully, when we get back from our bike ride, we're gonna go in there for dinner. Hopefully we won't be soaking wet and the air conditioning freezing cold, so we'll see. Are you already trying to get out of the bikes? No. It was your idea. I know. It might have been a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. Let's go. Well, they also have a cute little mini golf thing here. Kind of cool. Wow, how pretty is this back here? Really makes me want to get the sticks out of the RV, Lori. You. you guys gotta watch really carefully in the bushes for the deer. Oh, 
How cool is that? That was pretty cool, huh? How cool is that? <laughs> I already said that. Don't try to steal my line. Oh, wow. Double drink. Wow, double double drink. This is a lot uh, shorter through the middle than you know, because look at this. We're already here at the museum. At the museum. Oh, that is just the golf course looks so good. So back here at the museum, pretty cool. That's where we started the little trolley yesterday. JP Stables, I think they call it, the Pulitzer, John Pulitzer. A lot more lively here today. The Dominion house from yesterday. Sorry, Dominion Cottage. <laughs> this is what they say is arguably the first condominium in the US. Six apartments. I think it was the Susi house or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, if we can. And you can't take pictures in here. You can or can't? Yes, you can. Okay, perfect. Perfect, thank you. Okay, you guys might see right around in there, you might see a bridge in the background. That is how you get on to Jekyll Island today. It used to be the only way was here at these docks. They had steamers that would go from here across to the mainland and you also had some of the members who would bring their own private yachts. They'd tie them up down here at the end and then they would have servants bring their steamer trunks and things like that into the hotel for the season. Obviously those were the extremely big boys. They want to have their own yacht. Yeah, if they had their own yacht, they were uh, they were the richest of the rich. And somebody, I thought I saw, saw or heard on the tour yesterday that somebody had a 200 foot yacht. That's crazy back in the early 1900s. And the other thing is like, you have to remember that in the old days, it was all about showing their wealth. So they can use a very, the ladies, the wives of the extremely wealthy people, they will not wear one dress twice for dinner. So they will bring like these many trunks like over and like over and over again to bring all these dresses. And that's just the dresses. We're not talking even about the supplies. So yeah, they will do two runs a day, right? Back and forth. Two runs a day, every single day to get supplies and things like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the ladies, they had huge trunk fulls of stuff because heaven forbid you ever get saw in the, the same shirt twice, right, Julie? Who knew I that just now had to take a poke in at Julie. an RV, I was gonna have a closet this size. <laughs> <laughs> and you can still get over here by boat, these guys here, trucking through Jekyll River, pretty cool. Now we're gonna go take a tour of the Jekyll Island Club Hotel. And this is the Jekyll Island Club. Yeah. 
So back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, this is where the richest of the rich came to play and relax and, hunt. and kill stuff. <laughs> We just asked at the front desk if they do tours of the Jekyll Club Hotel, and they certainly do. And one just happens to be starting in a few minutes, and we may be the only ones on it. And the funny thing is that we happen to hit the right time because they only do it once a day. At 2 p.m. <laughs> FYI, the cost? The cost is, if you're staying in the hotel, it's for free, but if you're not like us, it's $10 a person. So, so for okay. us, it was worth it. Yeah, we'll check it out. See what they've got going on. And because we're geeks of this place, so. Yeah, that's some really cool history. Mm -hmm. I would think at two hundred and fifty dollars a night plus for the hotel, that yeah, your tour would be free. Two fifty to five hundred a night here, just but if you want to stay here. But it is spectacular. You were fangirling in this room, I'm were you? Out, yeah. <laughs> right now, we're heading up to the fourth floor of the hotel, and I guess we're going to Reba McIntyre's favorite room. I don't think Reba's, Reba's here, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's not here. Yeah, I don't think they will take us to her room. Yeah. But you can have a party outside. It might be just me, but riding the bikes back to the car is going to really suck. Could be just me. Whose idea was it to ride the bikes? It was a good idea earlier, you told me. <laughs> Who suggested it? I did. I knew it was in my rain. I was just trying to get the rain like, before you start happening. All right, earlier I called this thing the Suchi Cottage or something like that, but what is it? Sensusi. Yeah, sushi, you cannot eat it. I didn't <laughs> anyway. say sushi, I said Suchi. But anyway, this, uh, were one of the few like first apartments built, period. And the reason why is because you have the clubhouse over there where everybody will stay, but they will share a bathroom and even the wealthy people have to share that. And this, it was for the mega, mega millionaires that yeah, they didn't the want to basically. The elite. Yeah, they didn't want to share anything with anybody, so they created these apartments. And it's only six apartments, so six extremely wealthy people had each of those with old stuff. It's like, uh, yeah, it was old stuff. They were yeah. served in. Um, One of the first buildings to yeah, ever have an elevator. 
Oh, it's true. That's in the back part. Yeah. Like, outside of the city, there was elevators in the city yeah. places, but outside of the city, there was an elevator. Really, this is one of the first places. That and had they elevator. needed that so that the girls could get their clothes upstairs. We're gonna check this out. One of the other really cool things that we heard about this are two of the biggest names that you're gonna hear that lived here, Rockefeller and J.P. Morgan. So. Yeah, it's not J.D. Rockefeller, it's William Rockefeller and J.P. Morgan. Are you sure? Yep. Let's go okay. in. Oh, that's how it's spelled, by the way. This is as far as we can go in here because these are actual hotel rooms. Going to the halls, but I mean, just imagine that they were walking on these floors and doing their thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Lori's a financial stock geek. I'm just geeking out here. Some people are Harry Potter for me, it's this kind of stuff. What's really funny is that we stopped to take a picture of the baby Bambies and stuff and the lady there with looks like might be her grandson. She looks at me and she says, how cool is that? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's really cool. Yeah. Little baby Bambi, yeah. Jekyll Island as a whole is a two day island. I would say that's correct, unless relaxing is in there and then there's no relaxing if it's two days. For me, it's two days. <laughs> two days. You take relaxing on the moving day. Oh, hold on a second, Lori, hold on. Oh, I think I saw a tiny baby alligator. I've got a little friend down here I want to show you. Okay. Right down here. Ooh. You guys see that down in there? We in Georgia. And the little baby gator down there waiting. See if I can get in a little closer. Look at him. That's awesome. A little three footer, four footer or something like that. Just gotta make sure mama doesn't sneak up behind us and grab us okay I highly recommend that if you're playing golf on this golf course that you don't go looking for your golf balls in here because you might see gators like this oh we gotta go they're going that way we're on the golf course we shouldn't be out here I know better than that well we're not on the golf course we're just on the edge at least wearing not wearing helmets but <laughs> don't go look for your golf ball in there guys and did you notice how the alligator just doesn't come rushing out and grab you and drag you back in? They don't do that. Joe Brandon, I'm talking to you. No, I was talking to Joe Brandon, who's moving to Florida, and he's worried that if he comes here, the alligators are going to... Actually, we're not in Florida, we're in Georgia. But Joe was worried that if he comes here, the alligators are going to get him. No, unless your neighbor is feeding them. Yeah, if your neighbor's feeding them, look out. Yeah. How was your ride? It was beautiful, no rain. Time for some food. I'm just gonna repeat the saying that says on the door. In dog beers, I've, I've only had the one, so. <laughs> Tortuga Jacks is pet friendly. All dogs, most husbands, and some children must be on a leash. Any of the above who misbehave will be asked to leave. Behave. I'll behave. Okay.
That was a that was a tough one there. How do you do it, Lorena? I'm flexing. Wow. Quite different than Driftwood Beach. Good. Are you choosing your I need to sticker? Get a, I need to get a new sticker for my computer. Well, I don't need to get a new sticker for my computer. I just need a sticker from Jekyll Island for my computer. Okay. And they have all the basic and needs and even more yeah, in this shop. Told us that you had to go off island to get groceries, but they've got everything here. They have everything. They've got stuff to make alcohol, I think, so. Let's say they have vibrators. Oh my goodness. They have so much booze here. Like seriously. Well, because there's not like, much else to do here, but they have all the essentials. Wine. And on the right they have all the beer. It's because there's nothing else to do here but drink. Lorena just found redneck just wine. One ticket. That's just because of that look. Hermos peach shine, this is actually wine. Just like just drink it all. <laughs> oh man. All right, time to close out our day here in Jekyll Island, but we wanted to give you guys a little information about the island itself. Now, Jekyll Island as a whole, I think it's a day trip. I think it, it's on our scale of one through four, it's, it, the island itself is a day trip. It is yeah, there's a, a three. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a biking trails, there is beach time that you can do. Uh, also the history tours. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do and you can probably do most of them in one day. There's just some, amazing feel to the place and again it might be us fanboy and fangirling on the right. fact that it's Jekyll Island and the Federal Reserve and all that kind of stuff here and the fact that it was such a secluded hard to get to and hard to be included in space so I think that might have a lot to do with it mm -hmm. now as far as stuff to do on the island if you make it here what would you say about the the tram tour? I would say the the little train history tour. I mean that is a must for me if you're here. Right. Um, so if you're in the area. If you're in the area, like for sure, do that one. He's like he's gonna give you all the information and stuff. But some of the houses of the rich and famous back then. I mean, well, they call them cottages. So we'll start with the cottages and show you all that stuff, give you all the history, so you don't have to kind of like read everything before you come here to know that. Right. So I think that's a good one. That's a real must that if you're here, because it gives you a lot of information about the uh, the historic side of the island. And that really, that historic district is really where the whole thing started, the Jekyll Club Hotel. So the Jekyll Club Hotel tour that we did today, I think it's, can, it's kind of a take it or leave it. It depends yeah, on how yeah. much of a fan you it's are. Only, like the other one, the history that we just talked about, it was $16 a person. The one at the hotel, if you're not saying there's $10 a person, you have the extra 10 bucks, take it. They, give, they will give you a little bit extra information and show you the banquet uh, rooms and where the thing was done, the meeting was done and all that. So that was kind of cool. But it's a very small tour. They only take yeah. you into the three or four it's rooms. A, it's a one hour tour and it's, literally three rooms yeah and then and we it. got to go in one of the hotel rooms as, as well yeah, but we're Reba stays but <laughs> but but that's a take it or leave it if you want yeah. more information about the hotel do that but you can really get all the information that we got there from that uh, museum and tram tour. tour and but you can walk the hotel so you can still go inside walk yeah. the hotel go and have a check it out a refreshment at the bar yeah the <laughs> like, bar restaurant area is really is cool. Very, very cool and obviously like i saw we got to sit out there and enjoy an afternoon shower and it was just an amazing 
ambiance in that hotel so very very cool so, stuff so come to Jekyll Island pretty cool place and a lot of stuff to do right now we're on the more like the newer side where the hotels are on the western end. yeah we're on the beach side um, yes and there's a lot of stuff to do here there's ice cream shops or shopping there's also restaurants so you can always just come and do that if you're not into the history of it yep and that's yeah. all we've got from yes. Jekyll Island so if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on our adventures. You might find some places that you want to visit or some things you want to avoid, but it works out pretty good. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video, and we'll see you guys again in another one. Take care now. Bye, guys. Let's go beat it back to the campground yeah, before it rains. I can see the clouds are dark. It's getting dark outside. So you had to get eight positive votes from the, the current members, and there's my phone interrupting the video. Paul, <laughs> you didn't get the message? I didn't get the memo to turn, turn off, off my your phone. your devices. Yesterday we went out for a...